Hey, what's up everybody? Sean here with Empire Auto Spa, and today I've got a firearm and paint protection film. Let me explain. So most common question, oh, and this is a BB gun. Let me put this away. So most common, I shouldn't point it at you folks at home. <laughs> I'm in danger. Most common question I get about paint protection film, what does it do? And today, should I look at this camera or just ignore it? Just ignore it. Just ignore it? Yeah, just yeah. ignore it. All right, well, let's just keep rolling. Today, I'm gonna shoot some paint protection film and show you what a BB at 272 miles an hour can do to paint protection film. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so today's experiment is pretty self-explanatory. I have a Daisy BB gun. It shoots 400 feet per second. Now, I'm not that smart, so I went online and did the conversion. That's the equivalent of 272 miles an hour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some rounds into some thin and extraordinarily thick paint protection film. Now, I've seen rocks go through paint protection film before. Normally it's at a speed of about 140 miles an hour. What I wanted to find out was if we could replicate that same thing using a BB gun and then show you folks at home the amount of protection that you end up getting when something hits your car at speed. Now, this is as close as I can get to faking a rock, so let's just take a look and see what happens. So a lot of times when clients come in, I use uh, an analogy to explain to them the difference between their clear coat and paint protection film. I explained to them that there is a big difference between being hard and being durable. Uh, glass is very hard, but it's not durable. If you drop it, it shatters. Um, paint protection film is phenomenally durable. Uh, that means that you can stretch it, you can shoot things at it, uh, you can scratch it, you can do quite a bit to it, and um, it stands up to it really well. I think what I have in front of me right now is an example of the difference between hard and durable. Um, I am not seeing what I thought I was gonna see. So let's talk about the first piece. Uh, this is the thick one. Um, the thick one is 11 mil thick. Uh, that is a crazy thick piece of film. And what's really interesting is on the thick one, it looks like the BBs went through on every single shot. So the thickest film, actually, it appears that the BBs went right through it on every single one. I wonder if this is a case of it really just being more hard than durable. So thick one, big surprise. Now let's take a look at the thin one. Now, as I peel this up, I am gonna state, um, these are actually two separate companies. Um, I'm not gonna name any company names, um, but they are two separate companies, so maybe that is a reason that they're performing differently. Um, when I take a look at the thin one, let's get the post-it note out of the way. So when I take a look at the thin one, it's actually pretty dramatic, the difference. Um, none of them, literally none of them went through on the thin one. None of them. I mean, you can clearly see on both examples where it made enough of an impact that it actually took the paint off of the object that we put it on. But really surprising, I thought the thick one would hold up better than the thin one. Understand, this isn't a good simulation of what a rock is going to do because your car doesn't do 272 miles an hour, no matter what you want to put on social media. You lie! 
lie. Stop lying. The cool thing about this film is that if you're really looking for the ultimate in rock protection for your automobile, nothing beats paint protection film. Now, the key is not just the film, but also making sure that the installation is done by a skilled technician. There are some downsides to film. If it's not done properly, if the edges aren't wrapped, it can be very visible. Um, some things that people talk about quite a bit though that really are not the case anymore. It doesn't yellow like it used to. That's kind of older technology. Um, it does come with a 10 year warranty. I always tell folks it's all based on where you live. Here in Florida, I would say, hey, safe for about seven years on your vehicle doesn't mean you have to yank it off it just means I would have somebody inspect it uh, in a cooler climate absolutely 10 years we've seen paint protection film save the day time and time again so if you're trying to figure out if paint protection film is something for you this is the way that we help our clients decide we ask them how long are you gonna keep your car if you're not gonna keep your vehicle for at least three years I usually tell them not to worry about paint protection film. Now the next one is kind of generalizing and, and really uh, making statements about who you are and what you do, but listen, if you're an engineer, if you're a pilot, uh, if you're a surgeon, you probably want paint protection film because any imperfections in your automobile are gonna drive you crazy if you own it for two years or 10 years. Based on who you are and how long you wanna keep the automobile, that's the best way to determine whether or not paint protection film is for you. When you're selecting somebody to install your paint protection film, look for reviews, find people that have had it installed by that company, and make sure that you're getting a good installer. Assuming that all of these things line up, the answer is yes, paint protection film is probably for you, and you can see it's pretty strong stuff. And I think the results speak for themselves. Well, that was educational. Um, I wasn't expecting that thick one would fail more than the thin one. The thin one held up great and the thick one fell apart. So uh, really kind of surprising. Any of the comments, go ahead and comment below and make sure and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn your notifications on. You're gonna start seeing a lot more content, not just about auto detailing or paint protection film, but about all things automobile. So make sure and subscribe to the page and turn your notifications on. Also, if you enjoyed the video, comment below and give us some ideas of what you'd like to hear about next. From all of us here, we appreciate you guys at home. Stick around, lots more coming.